Shalom, this is Mitch Glazer, President of Chosen People Ministries. And I would like you to pray for the staff of Chosen People Ministries. I know that there are many prayer requests that you have at this time and that all that's going on with the coronavirus is uh, on your heart. Also, we're having some uh, really tough times financially uh, as a nation and uh, so many uh, other concerns that, we, uh, that burden our heart. But I want to let you know that you should especially pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Psalm 122, verse 6, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They will prosper who love thee. And I'm praying that you'll pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Now, let me just tell you, in light of the coronavirus, what you can pray for specifically. Like many other countries in Israel, we are now forbidden from having any public meetings with over 100 people. We have, almost every week at our Ramat Gan Center in Greater Tel Aviv area, we have a concert. Sometimes we have a Sabbath dinner. We have lectures. We have all sorts of other activities and we're not going to be able to have these larger group meetings, so we're going to focus on our smaller Bible studies, our mothers of preschool ministries, and uh, we read books to kids and things like that. The second thing is our Holocaust survivor ministry also counts on larger group meetings uh, where we have banquets and celebrate the holidays together and so on. So please pray for that ministry and pray especially for the Holocaust survivors. Many of them are elderly and uh, they are very susceptible to illness. And so we want to pray that God preserves their life and that uh, we can show them the love of, of Jesus uh, day in and day out so that they come to know him whom to know is life eternal. And so we need that. Also, we have a number of our Israeli folks that are supposed to come out at this time uh, from Israel to the United States in order to do speaking tours. The Israeli government told them that, and anybody, upon their return, they will need to go into a mandatory quarantine for 14 days. And so if they leave, then they have to come back and spend two weeks in quarantine. We've already had uh, a staff member who's gone through quarantine and and it gets long and lonely uh, when, you're in, when you're in quarantine. And, and where you can be quarantined is not an easy issue. And also, Israel is asking any people who come from abroad uh, to be self-quarantined for, for 14 days. So, of course, this is making tours, which Israel depends upon for the economy, to be very, very difficult. Already, uh, one of the major groups of people who tour are from China and also from Russia, and of course from the United States. So this is going to weaken the Israeli economy. And of course, then there's the everyday concerns of our staff who are, are trying to stay healthy and uh, serve the Lord in Israel. Now you have to understand these prayer requests can also be applied to all of the chosen people staff around the globe because uh, we're having uh, a lot of problems related to the virus in Australia, uh, to some degree in, in Canada, and in many places across the globe, including uh, uh, France, and uh, parts of the Ukraine, and so on. So as you pray for the peace of Jerusalem, let's expand that a little bit, and remember to pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for your mission to the Jewish people. Pray that God will encourage our hearts during this time. And remember, when people are going through grave difficulties, then that is an incredible opportunity for the gospel. I remember when 9-11 happened, and it was so tempting to want to just shut yourself off and take care of your family. And yet, even as I was riding the subways in those days and talking to people, there was just such an openness uh, to the gospel. And so pray for us, pray for all of the logistical issues, pray that God will give our missionaries boldness and confidence in Him so that they can go outside of their own circumstances and minister to others in real need. Thank you, God bless you, and shalom.